Great schools are not perfect schools. They're schools that have the courage to question themselves, not because somebody is saying, you must do this, but because there's a special kind of commitment to improvement. Data in a Day is a collaborative process where people from the community work with a school to look at the different kinds of motivational conditions that influence high quality teaching and learning. Something that I'm hoping that we're able to take away is how can we make our curriculum more culturally relevant? How can we engage all of the students in the classroom so that everyone is challenged every day in their zone of proximal development? I think one of the specific strengths for Data in a Day is that it's not focusing on individual teachers, but instead it's looking at the school as a whole. It gives us a chance to look at things from a different lens. And I think that it's really important to see things from what's happening in, in other people's eyes. We need people to come see all the good work we're doing. I think there's lots of good things happening here. We're better than a lot of the neighborhood high schools and the charter high schools around, but a lot of folks don't really know it. And that's why everyone is here, <laughs> helping to create a new narrative that Bowen High School is a wonderful choice for children. The dinner the night before is an opportunity for several things. In addition to people coming together to support a school and a partnership, people get to know each other. I started here because I had a friend who worked here and recruited me, Mr. Lambert, but then I stayed here because uh, everyone's become like my family here. People get to learn about the school's instructional priorities. How do we help the students to be more motivated? How do we get them to do harder stuff? That's all we talk about every day. How can we do this better? And they are able to practice what they'll be doing the following day. By watching just a four minute video clip and looking for whatever is on your rubric, you'll be able to get a sense of how this looks. Each team will be comprised of a student, a teacher, a family member, in this case a parent, and a community member. So you'll get the perspectives from different vantage points. I know what I think student engagement looks like. But I need to know, we need to know, what all of you think that looks like. I want to make sure that we're all on the same page so that when we get to the library tomorrow, we know exactly where to start, we know what to do. There's absolutely no confusion. We're visiting six classrooms and 15 minutes inside the classrooms, 10 minutes outside to talk about what we observed. I felt like, you know, they were comfortable in that learning environment, and that was, I think, a real wow. We each have a different rubric. I have the relevance, the attitude rubric, whether or not the students are interested in the lesson, if they're engaged, and if the teacher is helping them with the questions that they have. I was assigned to the results of the lesson plan. Were they understanding what they were learning? what they needed help with, how effective the lesson plan was to them. In this corner over here, we'll have the enhancing meaning group. Those of you who look for challenge and engagement. After the morning of observations, we moved into small table groups where all the individuals who took evidence on the rubrics for each motivational framework component came together and then we discussed what we found as we were all in different groups originally and came up with our own wows and wonderings and trends that we saw for each component. In the class that I was in, it was very active. Like all the students were participating even though they got the wrong answer when they submitted it. They still asked why. Is it acceptable for teachers to model and wrestle with text? Is it okay to say, this is how I struggle through difficult texts and these are the strategies I use? Then at that point, we moved into the large group circle where we talked about what we individually found to be the purpose of Data in a Day and then most importantly, what we learned. You get the insight from all these different variety of people, which I believe is gonna give us better feedback. I was particularly impressed with the level of uh, student insight. I thought they were awesome in terms of explaining exactly what was working and what wasn't working in the classroom and what could you know, be done to improve student outcomes. So then next we are going to transition into the students really leading a staff workshop session of what the data in the day process looked like. So once the community stakeholders and everyone left, we pulled the students together to prepare their presentation. 
what I learned is that teachers do do a lot, and I didn't realize how much they do, how much they like their job, and how much effort they put forward to it. For me, what I took in from today was that us as students, we take our teachers for granted. They do way too much work for us to play around in the classroom, to talk too much, to be on our phone. We need more gratitude in this school. Stephanie hits upon that, for me, that's like that miracle moment when <laughs> my students understand just how much went into one 30-second moment and their demeanor and their attitude and their acceptance in the class and in the learning environment completely changes. So yay, super wow. What we will transition to is allowing you to see what were some of the wonderings and what were some of the wows and really getting insight from you on what the major takeaways are so we can take that back and figure out how do we continue to deepen this process in terms of getting more resources or continuing the conversation. I think the next step then is to have the faculty really sit down and absorb that information and reflect on their own practice and where they want to begin to incorporate some of the wows and the wonderings that came up today.